how are we all i am popping in i didn't let anyone know i'm really sorry i didn't know if i was going to be able to manage it today because um monday um is a day when oliver is at home with me and everything is all a bit a bit bonkers and crazy so i'm not at my desk so i have now it's half past seven in the evening for me so i am now popping on to say hello oh people are here already hello 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 it's melanie how are you? I've been seeing your pictures. They look awesome. Um, today is the day. It's the 3rd of July and the Time to Bloom blanket crochet along, still can't say it, um, <laughs> has launched in earnest. Um, I know that I, I tried to let you all know as soon as I possibly could beforehand so that we could get all the yarn and everything sorted um, and people who have bought their VIP ticket have already um, steamed ahead and we have some almost completed blankets or certainly lots of motifs popping up here there and everywhere and it's amazing because now we have such a wealth of knowledge already of people and colour inspirations so if you're just hopping on and going what on earth are you talking about Hannah now is the time to join um, because you can either use stuff from your stash or you can order some yarn and wait for it to come because there's no end date on this crochet along there's there's no deadline, there's no anything. The important thing is just to join um, and come and enjoy it and have fun with us. Hello, oh, I should have done the housekeeping, I'm really sorry. Um, so if you're joining on, I'm, I'm streaming across lots of different channels using this one piece of software. Um, it doesn't tell me what your name is if you comment when you're on Facebook. So if you're on Facebook, because there's already some people here saying good morning from California, whoever that is on Facebook, good morning. Um, um, oh, and then Jenny, see Jenny's just um, commented and said hello. But it tells me who you are, Jenny, because you're over on YouTube. So hello, Jenny. I'm really sorry about that. It's very frustrating. Um, but there's no workaround, unfortunately, to be able to go live in all the different places at the same time. So come say hi, say if you're um, joining in with a crochet along, say, say if you know what I'm even chatting about. <laughs> and I will put, I'll put the little widget there in the middle there. Um, so if you've got, a, you're watching on a device that you can zap that code, then do that and it will take you to the information page that has got all the everything that you need to know. Oh, someone's just done it. It light, lights up when it does it, when someone does it, does it. I don't know where it takes you. Um, oh, it's Pamela, it's Pamela in California. Hello, Pamela, how are you? Um, of course, it's morning time from everyone. Oh, and Sonia's here, she's in Brazil. Hello, Sonia. There's so many people from all around the world. I've been absolutely amazed. First of all, by the fact that over 2,000 people have signed up to do this crochet along. I literally can't believe it. Um, and the fact that there are, there are people from all around the world joining us. So come on in everyone hi mandy good afternoon from texas oh you're all you're all the other side of the world to me aren't you that's why i'm sat in the dark because it's bedtime here hi peg from maryland jenny's already started i know oh i'm so excited jenny lisa's here hi lisa Happy cow kickoff day, Mandy said. Oh, I'm honestly, I'm so relieved because I, as you can imagine, um, it's taken a long while for me to get prepared and ready to this point. Um, and I feel like I've been almost ready for so very long. Um, and then all, all of a sudden at the weekend, I was suddenly like, oh my gosh, there's still quite a lot to do. So I was clattering away at the weekend to try and get everything ready, but it's done. It's ready, it's ready. We have hello from North Dakota. Hello, hello. Here we are. Hi, Harren, it's Karen. Oh, hi, Karen. Completed the main hexagon in the sunflower colors. Yay! Oh, Karen, Karen, yay! <laughs> awesome. I'm so excited to see those sunflower co um, colors. Here we are, Junie's here. Hello from St. Louis, love the cal already. Oh, if you're not in the Facebook community group, you absolutely have to go and join in. You really have to go and look at some of the colors. And Junie's colors are amazing. They're using um, really bright, I think it's chroma, is it chroma that you're using? I can't remember for the main colours, like jewel, rich jewelry colours, and then the background is black. It's just going to be stunning. I'm so excited to see it. Oh, Claire's here. Claire's here from Canada. Oh, look, oh, people are saying me too. So having done the motifs, need to put the white on yet. Lots of people. So this is one of my questions for today. Um, what is your plan for making motifs? What do you normally do with motif blankets? Do you make all of the centers and then do the borders around? Because obviously with the, the Time to Bloom blanket, all of the borders are in that main color. 
Um, or do you do a motif at a time and then weave in your ends? Or do you, how do you work them? Because I, I'm a one motif at a, a time girl. And I wonder if that's because from a design background, I want to know what my finished um, item is going to look like. Um, but yeah, I've seen some like production lines. They look absolutely awesome. Oh, I can't keep up. I can't keep up. I can't keep up. Oh, Wendy's here saying she's loving the cow. Oh, thank you, Wendy. Wendy, I think you did last year's crochet along as well, didn't you? The strawberries and cream. I think, I think I'm right in saying that you did. And Denise is here from Surrey. Hi, Denise. Um, here we are. More people coming in. Oh, it's Mandy again. I finished the last of my support full hexagons last night. Two of my worsted weight are left and should be finished tonight. That's awesome. And I've I've made myself a list because I'm terrible, aren't I? At remembering what to say. So I am going to chat a minute in a minute about substituting yarn and changing your yarn weights and all that kind of stuff because lots of people seem to have done that. And I don't want people. There are a couple of um things where you could come a cropper and a few pitfalls that um you might not know you're falling into. So we'll have a chat about those and it's veronica my wonderful friend veronica oh everybody should go see her blue star crochet she's amazing and we have someone here from south wales hello hello did you have loads of rain and storms today because we had tons here we had tons oh it is chroma twist it is chroma twist i did get it right there we are um, oh, some, someone's saying they're not able to post on YouTube. Oh, they play silly games sometimes, don't they, these things? <laughs> and Denise has said, um, I've jumped ahead and got 12 full and eight halves done. That is amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Um, there are a lot of motifs to make, but do you know what? And it's very hard to predict how, how people will do with a crochet along and how quickly they will pick up a certain motif because week one is what I will show you in a minute. Week one is basically all about these full hexagons. And if you can manage to get those 12 hexagons done in a week, then you are doing really well. Oh my goodness. So please don't, I, I haven't set it as like terribly, it's not terribly arduous in that you need to get all of these done um, in, in one week. You don't have to. You can tip over into next week and wait for next week and do some half hexagons and then come back to your full hexagons. It really doesn't matter how you want to do this. The important thing once we get to the point of joining them all together, then we will need to work our borders in a certain order because that's how they go around the blanket. But in terms of all of these motifs in the middle, your half hexagons, quarter hexagons and full hexagons, you go for it. You do them in whichever order you would like to, but it does make sense to begin with a full hexagon again um, because there are a few people already I've seen in comments um, in the community group that are not struggling with rows round six and seven but are having to really put their thinking caps on and really really take note of what they're doing um, and actually that will stand you in good stead if you just keep practicing and practicing those rounds because then when it comes to the half and the quarters you will need to know at which point well obviously I will tell you which, which point but it, it will help you if you've done the full hexagons and then you can think about how do we slice them in half so if I show you for example the rounds uh, round six and seven we then slice them in different places depending on which way round your half hexagon is because this half hexagon you'll see has got this shape uh, it's a straight edge up the side and then up to a point down and another straight edge whereas this half hexagon has the three point just the three points here so this one has four sides and this one has three sides it really hurt my head to work that out I can tell you and then the quarter hexagons, although they are the same shape, they're in um, a different orientation. So they're slightly different as well in terms of pattern. Um, but don't worry about any of that. I have done videos and all that kind of stuff to show you through. And if you, while we're talking about videos, if the videos are going, because they did, I had to go at quite a pace, I'm afraid, because there was so much to pack in. Um, you can on YouTube, slow them down. It makes my voice sound really weird. But if you want to really focus on what my hands are doing, then just slow them down and then replay it, go again, all that kind of stuff. Um, but I wanted to, rather than skip lots of it, I wanted to put as much of the actual action in as I possibly could. So, um, so yeah, and also just not make them too terribly long. Um, but the first, um, for, for the free version, the first video is out and live now. I'm ready for you to go and watch. So go and give that a, a look. And if you're not quite sure whether you want to join in or not go and have a look go and have a look at the video and see if you think um, it's something you want to make or something you'd be able to manage 
sorry, I'm waffling, waffling. Oh, Claire says I'm excited about this. Yay, me too. It's so lovely to have all the support that there is in the in the community group um, because already there are people giving each other advice on you know on color placements, on gauge, on how to sort things, how to block all this kind of stuff, which we will obviously talk about as well further down in the crochet along when we get to that point. Ah, here, what, what are we saying? Mandy's saying, I've been doing one motif at a time so I don't lose any of my pieces. <laughs> yeah, so um, you'll probably read on the thing that I, I laid when I made mine, I laid mine all out on a table. So if you do have the capacity, if you've got a spare bed, if you've got a table that people might not put things on top of, then do lay them out as you make them um, rather than stacking them up and shoving them in a bag somewhere because I don't know about you, but I lose things when I do stuff like that. So if you have got the ability to do that, um, and how cool would that be to take a picture a day of what you're doing and take your progress? How awesome would that be? Yeah, Jenny's saying kind of an assembly line, but I was getting confused, so modified it a bit. Yeah, that's that would be my worry as well of like keeping track of where where I'm at and what I'm doing. Karen's one motif at a time. Yeah, that's like I do. But it, the thing is as well, our brains work so differently, don't they? I don't think it, it doesn't really matter, does it? And it's the same thing about how um, how you read a crochet pattern. The same three or four people could read the same crochet pattern, but they could interpret it cre completely differently. It's the way that we organize our thoughts in our brain and it's the way that we interpret the information that's coming to us. And that's the same thing for colors. That's the same thing, thing for numbers. And that's the same thing in terms of things like this, of logically thinking, how does this work? And I mean, like case in point like stacking shopping shopping bags like me and my husband stack things completely different in shopping bags and neither of us can understand what the other one is doing um and if it makes sense and it doesn't make sense to the other one but it doesn't matter that it doesn't make sense as long as your system works that's probably a terrible analogy but i hope you all, <laughs> all know what you mean oh wendy said i did she did do the strawberries and cream all in the neutral yes 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 Oh, and someone here saying that I brought the strawberries and cream cow, strawberries and cream course with this cow. Yes, so that's an excellent point. The strawberries and cream crochet along that we did last year, there is a course version of it as there is for this crochet along, and that is on special offer at checkout that you can get. It's normally $49 and it's at $12 at the moment throughout the course of this crochet along. So if that's something that you want to snap up, then please do. And you can do that. Um, even if you sign up for the free version of this, you can take advantage of that sale. Hurrah. Here's a good question. I need a yarn winder, any brand preferable? Um, I've only ever had one and it's a new thing to me. I've never had one until for about 18 months ago now, something like that. Um, and I have got this standard, straightforward knit picks one and I absolutely love it. Um, I know you can get some really nice wooden ones um, and some other, other. they're all a similar, similar design, um, but I think for most reputable um, yarn companies or design companies um, do make a version but yeah my knit picks one is certainly fabulous so yeah if anyone else has one that they want to shout out then let us know who have we got here hi from Colorado hello looking forward to this but I have to finish the border on my current blanket before I allow myself to start my gosh you're so you're so <laughs> you're so disciplined well done hopefully later this week love the heavily so soft yeah, so the Heatherly, lots of people um, are trying it for the first time, I think, with this crochet along. So I used, as you can see the colours behind me there, I used Heatherly Sport Weight. It does come in a worsted weight, um, and I've used that for other things. I've used that for garments, and I think it would be brilliant on, um, on baby blankets too. But this Sport Weight is just absolutely lovely. And I would say it's a good, it's a good Sport Weight, and in terms of what you, um, if you wanted to substitute, you could um, easily substitute with some other double knit yarn so category three so it's a two slash into a three because uh, lots of people have said you know what other yarn brands can I use so I would look for a thinner double knit or a good hefty sport weight but having said that it doesn't really matter because you can make your blanket any size you like with whichever yarn you like really and, and whatever yarn weight and I know that there are quite a few people who are doing a worsted weight one and a sport weight one and I'm really interested to see the size difference that they they come out to um, and while while we're on that shall we talk about 
talk about the gauge and stuff because this week the full motif um, is what we are using to set our gauge. This is how you're going to know how big your blanket is going to be. Now, if um, you're, I'll come back to, I'm trying to think of too many things at once. I need to steady down, Hannah, steady down. Um, it's, it should measure, I believe, someone tell me if I'm wrong, seven and a half inches, something like that from point to point. So when I say point to point, I'm saying, you know, point here and a point there. Or if you swivel it round, you've got a point here and a point there. So opposite points um, are going to be. And there's a diagram, whether you're doing the free version or the VIP version. In VIP version, there's a huge web section in the ebook about it. Um, but if you're doing the free version, there's a diagram on the blog already for you. Um, and it shows you what dimensions they should be. So if you're using a sport weight yarn and you use the same hook that I did, four millimeter, and it comes out somewhere near this size or whatever size it is that I've told you. Has anyone, has anyone corrected me on the, on it? Seven inches, there we are. Thank you very much, thank you. Um, if it comes out to be that seven inches or thereabouts, you know that your blanket will be almost the same size as mine. So even with the, the deep borders on it and then the final border around it, if you know that your work is very similar to mine, which a few people have said, hurrah, I got it first time, then your blanket will end up being the size that mine is, which is about 33 inches by 40 inches. However, if you choose a different weight yarn, or if indeed, sorry, that's my dog barking, <laughs> or if indeed you just work differently, you might be a tighter crochet or a looser crochet than me, and that's absolutely fine. But I would say if you're using a sport weight yarn, the same as I have here, I would recommend that you try and get as close to the seven inches as you can. And the way you can do that is to change your hook up or down, depending on whether you want it to be tighter to get it smaller or looser to get it bigger. So that's that's what to do if you're using sport weight yarn in order to get it to this size. But do you know what? Half half an inch here or there, this could sound rude, couldn't it? But half an inch here or there is not really gonna make much of a difference. Um, but if you think half an inch on this motif and then on this motif and on this motif and on this, you know, it, it, it ends up being quite a lot of extra measurement that you add there. I hope there's no one at my door because my dog's barking like anything. I don't know if you can hear her. I'll just keep going. It'll be fine. I'll just ignore them. <laughs> Not the dog. I'll ignore whoever's there. Um, so if you are using a heavier weight yarn, I really, really think that you shouldn't try and meet the gauge. So if you're using a much thicker yarn and you try and make your motif seven inches, it's going to, you're going to have to go down in hook size and therefore it will be really tight and it will be really compressed and it will be really stiff. And just look how this fabric moves. I kind of touched on this the other day, didn't I? This fabric moves beautifully. Um, and that's what we want for a blanket, isn't it? We want it to be lovely. It's not too holy. There's a few little um, lacy bits here, but it's not the holes that make make it drapey like this. Um, it's, the, it's the magic formula of the size of the hook and the size of the yarn. So if you're using a thicker yarn, then I would say just know that your blanket is going to be much bigger. Um, there's someone that is posting in the group saying they're making it for a twin size bed. So they're just making a motif and it's the size the motif is and they're laying it out on their bed and they're just making enough to cover that bed, which I think is a really logical and easy way of doing it. So don't overthink it too much. Don't think, oh my gosh, I absolutely have to get to the same size as Hannah, because you really don't. If it was for a garment, it would be completely different. If it was for a hat, it would be different. If it's something that needs to fit you, then it's really, really important to get your gauge right. But in terms of things like blankets, it really doesn't matter. The important thing here that we are learning, that we are looking at is color placement. It's working in the round to do hexagons and half hexagons, working out how to cut motifs into different spaces, and then looking at these floral stitches around the edge, joining motifs together. There's so much more in this than just how to get your gauge right. And I know I shouldn't say that, please don't tell on me, but you know, I've said it now anyway. <laughs> so let's carry on. There's lots of comments, I'm so sorry. I'm behind already. 
and I will in a moment, um, someone remind me if I don't remember to do it, we'll go through and I'm actually going to show you on my screen how to log in and how to find everything because that's the question I have been asked already many times today. I've tried to make it as straightforward as I possibly can, but obviously there are always some kind of glitches here, there and everywhere. So we will go through exactly how you get to what you need to get to, uh, but not that many people have had problems. So this is all good. This is all good. Um, Celine is asking, is the pattern the same for left-handed crochets? So I always find this really difficult to answer because I, 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 my brain doesn't work in a way that lets me answer that easily. But what I will say is that each motif is a symmetrical design. So the only difference is that you'll just be going in the opposite direction, won't you? Um, and then when you have to break your yarn and rejoin, when you're watching the videos, I'll be rejoining on one side and, well, it's the, I'm in mirror image at the moment, aren't I? So whichever side I rejoin from, you'll be rejoining from the other side so that you can work. So the, anything symmetrical is generally um, the same for right and left-handed. Um, and then the panels we go, that we do with the uh, flower stitches we work back and forth in rows and they are a symmetrical repeat as well and then the final border that we go all around it is also just really straightforward it's a stitch in a stitch kind of thing so I would say that's a long-winded way of saying yes I think it is <laughs> I think so uh, oh who have we got now who are we Oh, the Baker's 97. Thank you for this. My pleasure. I'll make one motif at a time. I still have to get yarn. There's plenty of time. But on the yarn front, do make sure that once you've signed up and you've logged in, look into the material section because you have got a 20% discount code on the We Crochet website uh, for everything, not just the yarn for this uh, crochet line, but the yarn packs that We Crochet have made, uh, which are now back in stock, yay! Um, they have also got money off. So if you buy them individually, I believe they're a bit more expensive, but they have given a special discount already on those kits. So I think it's kind of the cheapest you'll ever get it. So even if you don't intend to make another one, just buy another kit because actually it's beautiful yarn. So. Oh, so much got to look, look for. Oh, yeah. <laughs> saying I still have to get the yarn for this. So much going on here, but I look forward to making this. Yes, it is. And any time that a crochet along launches, I remember this from, from the baubles that I did last year and the strawberries and cream. It's really overwhelming to start with. And uh, lots of people get like, oh my goodness, I can't keep up with all the comments and the posts. And don't worry, you don't have to. I will just be posting regularly. And I will, in the community group, I post as me, as Hannah Cross. So have a, have a look out and I will pin things at the top. Uh, for some reason, it always, people get to see it more when I pin as myself under my own profile as to when I do it under my business profile. So I always try and do it as me as opposed to the business because then I know that more people on the algorithm will see it. Don't know why. If anyone understands, please let me know. <laughs> What's Jeannie said? I like seeing the full motif come together. Yeah, it feels really rewarding to do each one, one at a time for me. Yes, and that is, I, I also added in, because I'm like, I'm a tick list kind of person, I tell you. I um, have lists for everything. So in the ebook, so the 25 page ebook has got a section included in it because you have to make 12 different motifs of the full one, eight of the half, um, and various different other ones. What I've done is put a checklist in there. So there's a box that you can tick for each of them to make sure that you know which version that you have done from the pattern. So um, so if you have got the ebook, then make sure you check that. Um, and the ebook's got lots of color se selection stuff in it and all that kind of stuff as well. Ah, oh, Jenny, that's so lovely. Thank you. Highly recommend the strawberries and cream pattern. So many great stitches. Thank you. Oh, I loved, I loved the strawberries and cream. Yep. Oh, here are Mandy's saying, I got the strawberries and cream too. I was going to do it last year, but life happens as it tends to. So I wouldn't, wasn't able, but I will do it soon. That's awesome, Mandy. And, and that's a brilliant thing. Well, it's not brilliant that life got in the way, but it's a brilliant thing to say that it doesn't matter. So if you sign up for this and you can't manage to do it, please don't worry. If you've ordered your yarn and it arrives, hey ho, never mind. If you make one motif or two, never mind. This will always be here. This will always be on there. Whether you choose the free version or the VIP version, the free version will always stay, or well, it indefinitely will stay on my blog. Uh, but one thing of note is that, so um, lots of my things on my blog, I now lock. 
Um, so it needs a part your password. You have to log in in order to see it. But at the moment, I'm not locking this. So it's it, to try and make it more straightforward for you, basically. Um, but after the crochet along, I will be locking the pattern on the website. All it will be free still. Um, all it will mean that you will have to log in in order to view it. Uh, but as it is at the moment, it's kind of the easiest free version that it will be. Um, but it will always be there. So please don't worry. Um, who is this? Oh, I did not order strawberries and cream with VIP. Can I still order strawberries and cream for $12? There is a way around that. If you didn't, if you did the free version, if you signed up for the free version and then got the VIP, um, then I don't think you can go back on it using that same email address. But if you wanted to, you could always register with another address or that same address, um, email address rather, for the free version. So it, that wouldn't charge you anything and then just pay the $12 for the strawberries and cream. So I think that's probably the best way to have a go and see if that works. And if not, email me, hannah at handjankrochet.com and let me know and I'll, I'll figure it out for you. <laughs> Oh, Lisa's saying, hurrah, I've never used Heatherly before, and now it's my new favourite yarn. Yay! Awesome. Oh, and this makes me so happy. Tiki said, I've just finished MJ's cow granny, granny top and now ready to start yours. Yay! So my wonderful friend Michelle from MJ's Off The Hook has just completed her um summertime granny crochet along which absolutely amazing um so many people and i know we have lots of crossover in our groups um so many people made so many things in her in her crochet along and still are um but when michelle said about we because we often do crochet alongs together um but during the summer months we generally do one individually and it was just luck that hers finished literally as mine started and then our other wonderful friend brianna is starting hers at the end of this week and it's running into like it's all worked brilliantly so everyone can do all of them Hurrah! Ah, there we are. I think this is someone who's done a similar thing to get the strawberries and cream. I had the same problem, missed it. So after signing up for VIP, I signed up for the free, free version and picked it up. Yes, I think that's a brilliant workaround. Brilliant work, workaround. Ah, and this, here we are, back to gauge and everything. My worsted is nine inches point to point before blocking. So that's, I think that will be lovely. And that will be significantly bigger if you think how many go across. I think it's four, four or five across. So actually you're going to be adding eight or 10 inches to your blanket even before you then add your borders. So, so yeah, that's gonna be a really good size blanket. I'm very excited to see that. <laughs> oh, someone's saying I have a dog too. Yeah, they're amazing, aren't they? Ours is just, she's not normally noisy. She, it's just when people wander past and she's a bit like, what are you doing? What are you doing out there? Or she just has this radar that she knows that I'm doing something important. <laughs> but she's like, I'll just bark. <laughs> oh, here we are. How exciting. I'm living dangerously and not making a gauge swatch. Woohoo! Oh, I'm so excited. I love that people are brave enough to say that. And I love it doesn't matter. It honestly doesn't matter. Because the thing is as well, because if it was a great big blanket that was in row, like we did last year, rows and rows and rows. Like that's a big time commitment to to waste if for want of a better word um if you start making it and then out halfway through you're like oh this is not the right size at all whereas in in motifs actually do you know what if you make a couple of motifs and then you think oh actually that's not going to work that's not the right size at all there we are never mind um and also if you do once you've made your first motif you don't actually have to like go out of your way to make a swatch because actually a swatch is your first motif and as long as you're happy with the size of it it really really doesn't matter oh Ginny's saying about my my concern for changing weight was how much yarn i needed i had to do some maths to figure out how much worsted i would need yeah so that is the other consideration so obviously you need to not look at the balls of yarn if you're switching up for for a different yarn weight you need to look at the actual yardage which which i have said in the pattern and i have added an, an extra 10 percent. and in fact most of my balls of 100 grams which i can't remember how much you get 328 yards so i actually only use just over half of each of the the colors the five extra colors so there is plenty of yarn to play with in the in the numbers that i have given you 
Oh, there's someone here saying, I'm happy the calendar blanket because I have a terrible time with gauge. You're not alone in that. You are absolutely not alone in that. Lots of people do have problems with gauge. Um, but having said that, so my wonderful friend Veronica, who was watching earlier, I don't know if you're still here, um, she has an awesome course all about crochet gauge. It's really in depth, but it's not too overwhelming. So if you really, really want to get to grips with it, Veronica is your woman, I tell you. Here we are next. I really enjoy making blankets, not so much joining, so this will be a first. Do you know what? I used to have a real aversion to motifs and joining stuff um, until I discovered like quicker and easier ways of joining them. So for this one, for example, I, you can join them however you want to join them, whatever you find the fastest or the easiest or the most pleasing. Um, I used to hate sewing them together and I still do if I'm honest, but some people are so quick at sewing them together. Um, but I actually used a flat slip stitch seam um, for these and I find that really flies. Once you get into the groove of it, um, it really does fly. And once you figure out that actually you don't need to pull tight too tight on anything, um, then yeah, it really doesn't take that long for, for me anyway to join motifs together in a blanket. And they just look so stunning, I think. Um, that it is definitely worth it. But yeah, I feel your pain from, <laughs> from previous ones. Ah, this is a very good idea, Claire. She says, I may make one motif and then do an assembly line. So that's my base. That's a really good idea. So you have one as like an example and then work all the rest from there. That's an awesome idea. Oh, someone here saying, I love the baubles. Yay! Someone asked me the other day if um, if I was going to do any more baubles this year. And I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do any new ones. Um, if you if you didn't join us, my bauble, it's still available. The course is still available in the ebook and everything. Um, we made, we made, mos what were they? Mosaic, uh, overlay mosaic in um, tapestry and feral baubles, didn't we, for Christmas? And there were just baubles everywhere. It was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Is the white snowflake colour in Heatherly back in stock? As far as I know, yes, as far as I know. Let me see if I can open a tab and double check for you because it, oh, it was as of this morning, but let me double check for you. Where will it be? I've got so many tabs on, so many tabs open. Oh, that's not the right one. I'll keep checking. If anyone's on a if anyone's on a desktop and it's easier to to check, then do go for it. Uh, here we are. We crochet, crochet along. No, it's not going to be in there, is it? Dear oh dear. Well, I tell you what, we'll go through it when I show you. In the, as far as I know, yes, I'll show you when um when we show you how to get through to the whole thing. Mandy's saying, yes, I do appreciate a checklist. <laughs> oh, here we go. Melanie, I'm working with the sweet pea colours, but they were out of the snowflake, so I got Brava acrylic in white to go with it. Yeah, and that, that I think will look absolutely beautiful. Well, I swatched it myself, so I know that it works really, really nicely. Really nicely. Celine is asking, thanks for the explanation, Hannah. Sorry for my next question. Don't be sorry. All oh, because that's what I'm here for. Absolutely fine. Are you using US or UK terms for your pattern? I, I suppose you won't be UK terms. Actually, no, I'm using US terms. Um, I switched a long time ago now um, over to just using US terms because um, US terms are globally globally used they see they seem to be and um, and it just is less confusing um, for me to just do it in one one standard format so US terms um, but there is a conversion if you prefer UK terms then there is a conversion chart within the ebook and within all of my patterns actually I put a conversion chart um, so so yeah US terms US terms and then we have my first cow. So excited to order my yarn after your post here and look forward to getting started and working with you in this group. Oh, that's so exciting. Honestly, there are lots of people in this that have joined that have never joined any of my crochet alongs or groups before. Um, and that's amazing. That's amazing that we're welcoming in lots of new people. I'm very, very excited for it. Very excited. Right, I'm gonna have a slurp of water.
and then oh more more things popping up thank you for us terms and all this helpful information no problem at all uh mandy said the site says available on the 7th of the 7th oh they must have gone out of stock again oh my goodness that lots of people have bought lots of yarn i must admit and my first crochet along oh that's awesome i think some people get quite scared by joining crochet alongs but i'm hopefully we're trying to show that they're not scary at all they're really really not um and they're, they they're completely inclusive and you are going at your own pace and we are all here to support you um i said the other day that i uh, i will be absolutely honest i've been completely overwhelmed by the amount of people that are joining and the amount of messages i've been getting and all the all the posts and everything so I I have to physically approve every single thing that goes on in the group, etc. And it's very difficult if I'm not like tagged in something uh, to keep up with everything. Um, and uh, emails as well, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and it's just me responding to all of these. So if it takes me a while, I'm really sorry, but I will get back to you. Um, do feel free to give me a nudge if it's been a day or so and I haven't got back to you. Um, it won't be that I don't want to. It's just be because it will have been lost down somewhere or other. Um, I found a whole load. Oh, my goodness. Facebook Messenger for the business account for Hand Down Crochet account is very difficult to navigate and very difficult to find everything. Um, and I found a whole load of messages in there the other day that I didn't even know existed. So I felt absolutely terrible. So I'm very sorry if that was one of you. Um, but yeah, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, here we are. Someone's saying everyone is so friendly. Yay. Yes. Here we are. Melanie saying, I like UK terms on some things, but usually get patterns in US terms. Yeah, the vast majority of designers now do US terms, I'm finding. So, and it, it works, it works for the vast majority of audiences. So, yeah, Celine's happy that it's in US terms too. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome. Right, I've been waffling for long enough already. Let's, I'll practically show you because, um, as I've said on these lives before already, there are different options for how you would like to join this crochet along because I like to give people options in both the timing of when they start and also how they go about it and how they go about accessing everything. So when you go to the page to decide which one you're going to want to join in with or how you're going to join, um, it will tell you exactly what different options uh, contain. And so the free version is on my blog and it's hosted um, on my blog that has adverts on it and so that is what you're going to have to deal with slash put up with um, slash be okay with in order to get the free version absolutely everything will be on the blog it's just not terribly easy to navigate i understand that and i get that because there are these ads popping up through it uh, but it is the only way that i can afford um, to pay my bills um, so I, the only way that I can do it rather than saying everyone has to pay is by having these ads on my site. So that's where, that's that situation. And the videos, they have been condensed and pushed all together um, and they have adverts running on them as well. Whereas the VIP version is where you pay an amount of money to me so that you can have completely ad free. So it's a 25 page ebook without any adverts and that's yours forever to download and print and, and keep however. Um, and then also you get videos embedded within the course that don't have any ads on them. So it's a lot easier to go back and forth and navigate around and you just don't have to put up with the adverts basically um, and I've also done lots and lots of different extras and bits and downloads and all sorts of different things so um, so that they're the base there are extra things as well so go and look at the list and see which suits you best and what you would prefer to do uh, but I think most of the people are on here have actually joined already so if you're a VIP member I know that everyone is logged in sorted whatever if you have any problems with that just email me um, and I can go in on the system and I can get you sorted uh, but for the free version there have been some people asking about how we do it so once you have signed up and you have logged in this area here gosh it's made me all bright now hasn't it that screen Ooh. um this area here won't um it's not actually the hanjan crochet website this is a membership platform that you are now a member of even though you signed up for your free ticket you still become a hanjan member of this site um, and this is where your login needs to be so when you went through with your order for the free ticket or the vip ticket also looks like this this is where you will sign in and you need to keep hold of this, uh, the address, 
and the link but I will be sending out if you have a look on the emails that are email I sent out today it's got this link as to say this is where you log in and so when you put your details in as I have here we then sign in and ping pong if you have um, if you have purchased or have any of my other events and any other bits and pieces they will all come up here so you see all of these ones that are colored are ones that I have access Access to I've not obviously given myself access to all of everything um, but so it will then take you through so this is the free version um, that we are here but if you have the course version it will look like this and it will just have a different title if you've got the garments with confidence if you've got the bobbling along all these things are in here now if you want to get any of the other things that are there just click on them and it will take you to the information page and tell you you have to sign up for them so here we go, we click on the one that you belong to and that you have, and it takes you in on this left-hand side here, and that will look obviously different if you're logging in on a mobile or on a tablet, but this is the general setup of it. And this is a welcome information from me, and my computer's thinking really hard, there is a video here that's gonna pop up in a minute. If <laughs> My computer's going, ah, there's too many things, there we go, too many things working at once. Um, this is your welcome and information page, and then you work down the side, how to get the most from the crochet along, all this kind of stuff I've put in as much information as I possibly can here the materials and tools section um, that comes underneath I'm not going to click on because the we crochet discount code is in there um, and as soon as I click on it it will show you it so if you have um, got got logged in and everything click on there and you'll find all the materials and all of the kits and all that kind of stuff but this section here this bit that says free pattern links that is the one that we need we need to click on that and then there's a bit of blurb to tell you about how how this is all going to work but obviously I'm telling you so right now it doesn't matter and then so week one third of July click here for week one so we're going to click here and this is going to take us now this is my website this is where we are now landing oh except it hasn't carried on there we are because it's opened a new tab there we go it opened a new tab this is the hand crochet website and you can X out the little videos if you want, although obviously that will earn me less money. So if you can possibly manage to, to deal with those, that would be awesome. But if not, please don't worry. Um, so this post here is the one that I have done to basically give you all the information you need to get set up with everything. So it will tell you about would you prefer to get this in a course or in a PDF? Um, because I don't, people, the amount of people that then message me to say, actually, I want to upgrade. Um, so I have put it on there. And it's all about why I think hexagon blankets are awesome. Um, this is the um, diagram of how we're going to pop it all together. And then we'll have information here about how to join the crochet along if you haven't already, because I realize that some people might find this page and not know what this is all about. And then it says, if you've already signed up for your free ticket, then read on to find the detail and links for each of each part of the pattern. So this is the page that's basically going to have week one, two, three, and four all on here. So this is where you can come back to to make sure you know where to then navigate to. So then we've got a section here about yarn and that can tell you also I wanted to put it here as well because again if people are coming here from elsewhere then I wanted to make sure that they know exactly what yarn they're going to need and obviously this will live on the blog and there might not be like there won't be an open sign up for the crochet along a further down the line and then we've got tension and sizing materials all this kind of stuff glossary special stitches literally everything that you would have in your information pages um, in, in an ebook etc pattern notes and construction and then we get to this section here so these are the pattern sections and what we need to now do we i can either click on this um, image that we have here or you can click on this it says find the written pattern for motif one here so then we click on there and we get rid of whatever pops up at us there we are and it takes us to this page, uh, which at least six people have seen because they've shared it. No, but definitely more people have found it than that. Um, and then again, I needed to explain exactly what was going on and what we're doing, just in case, again, this is the first place that people come to. Uh, join the crochet along and here's the blanket. Then this is the section that we need to look at here. It's about the measurements. Yeah, yeah we were right, seven inches <laughs> um, that we're aiming to get. And then again, we've gone through the stitches, etc., just so that everyone has that. And then here is the list of the different color combinations that you're going to need. And then here is the pattern. 
So it is all there. All of this is what you need to make um, all of the full hexagons for this week. And then there's also watch the video tutorial here, or you can click on this image here as well. Um, and that will take you through to YouTube and that will have the video link there for you as well. So that is, in a nutshell, um, what, how to find all of the information and exactly what and where it is. I hope I've made it straightforward enough. I really hope I have. It's very similar to how it worked last year with the straw for the cream, which worked really well with one big post with all that, and then it sent you to the different different parts for the different weeks. But the only difference now is that we have that login, that membership part, which I needed to create because I wanted a hub and I wanted everyone to be in one place together. So. I hope that makes sense. Yes, this is an awesome idea. Junie said, I've bookmarked the login site and then emailed the link to myself so I won't lose it. Oh, that's amazing. Everyone should do that. Please do that, everyone. <laughs> and then we have Caroline saying, I love this second cal as much as the first. Oh, that so, is so wonderful that people are, now I know there's lots of hand and crochet blankets around the world in people's houses and you're coming back for more so it's absolutely amazing thank you so much oh here we are someone sorry it doesn't tell me your name on facebook but it does make sense and i found everything hurrah hurrah um and if you can't find everything please 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 let me know um but i would just ask please ask me in a nice way don't shout at me I, <laughs> i've tried my best to lay everything out really straightforwardly um and i'm very very happy to help everyone find everything that they need so just let me know um oh it's amy thank you amy um, I also saved my first email so I can log in. Yeah. Um, and if you have any problems, as I say, check my emails that come from today onwards. I'll be sending out that login link as well. Um, and if you really can't find it, then just let me let me know and I will help. Don't worry. Oh, this is lovely. I'm really enjoying your crochet along. I joined your garment course previously. I'm so glad I found you. Really helping my crochet skills. Yay! That's my whole, That's my entire mission. My entire mission is to not just churn out pattern after pattern to people. My mission is to um, give you obviously lovely patterns that you would like to make, but patterns that are workable, that are achievable, that are wearable, that are usable, um, and that help you learn and help you develop and help you do other things rather than just, you know, stick with the same thing. Because I know lots of people have messaged me saying, you know, I've been crocheting for 40 years and I've only ever made blankets and I've never ever been brave enough to do anything else. And you know what, if I can help, but, but it's not, if you're happy in that zone, then that's absolutely fine. But so many people are not happy in that zone. They're like, I'm bored. I want to do something different, but I don't know how. Um, so if you're in that zone, come to me. This, this, is, this is what I'm all about. Oh, Marie said, my yarn is coming tomorrow. Yay, yay for yarn. Oh, and that was another thing I've been asked a few times actually about. Um, so I mean, obviously use whichever whatever yarn you like, but obviously I'm recommending um, the We Crochet Heavily, or um, I've said Wool of the Andes or Brava Sports, um, which are all different. I've put a lot of time. I've had such fun shopping for different colours and different yarns. They're all at different price points because I know we all have different budgets, we all have different needs, etc. So I've done lots of different things in my in my packs, and. I've completely forgotten what I was going to say. What was I going to say about yarn coming? Oh, that was it. In that, lots of people have been asking about their shipping. Um, and so their shipping to, lot, definitely to the UK. It's been asked about the UK today in the group. Um, their shipping to the UK is free over £40, I believe it is. £40 or $40, not quite sure which. But it's free. Um, and there are no, once it arrives in the country, there is no extra shipping taxes or duties that you have to pay. Uh, whereas some companies, they, do, they, they don't take care of that for you. And I have been stung by that in the past, um, where something arrives <coughs> and then it arrives at the depot and you then have to pay something like £50 in order to get it to your house. So, um, so no, there's none of that. Uh, what you pay at checkout is what you pay. There's nothing else um, the other side. I don't know if that's true for all of the countries that they ship to, but they do ship to Australia, they ship to Canada, the US and uh, the UK. 
So, um, and there are lots of um, posts and lots of people using different yarns within the group um, that are really working beautifully, that are definitely work, um, usable around the world, or they, people can order from around the world. Um, so do go and have a look and go, go through the, the posts that are using different ones as well. Ah, this is a, I haven't finished reading the whole thing, but Tiffany said, I have my courses shortcutted on my phone. Brilliant. So it's just a one touch. I've started two of this crochet along. I really need to finish last year's crochet along. Nah, don't worry about it. Finish it whenever. <laughs> That's so awesome. Amy has said, I also like this crochet along because it feels like a nice community, like we're all hanging out together creating beautiful things. That is exactly what it is. We are hanging out together. We're all, all over the world, we're all in different time zones, but we are all making beautiful things together, most definitely. Oh, goodness me. This person here, I have the baubles, strawberries and cream, the crochet garments with confidence course, and now this blanket. You basically have everything that I've ever published then. That's absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. And Maria said, I will follow the gorgeous pattern, of course, but I bought Heatherly Worsted. Yeah, I think it's going to look absolutely brilliant in the Heatherly Worsted. And it's going to make a really cosy, even though it has got some of those little sort of lacy holes in it, I think it will make a really cosy, cosy bigger blanket as well. Um, and now obviously the colours that you choose will massively impact on how how it feels. Now obviously mine, their lighting's not very good here at the moment, but you can see mine, are, they're quite pastel-y colours and they're quite light and they're quite delicate. It's very much a spring and summer blanket. Um, but the, the, the sunflower kit that I put together, I really deliberately went much darker with everything. The yellows are quite bright in it, but the um, the main colour is like a mink, mink heather, I think it's called, and it's actually quite dirty um browny looking and, and that was quite deliberate because i wanted something that looked a bit more earthy that had a bit more depth to it so that it might suit different different people and so many people i think i've got sunflowers in their house because loads of people have said oh i chose that because it matches my lounge or my living room colors so that's really exciting Tiffany said, my ADHD is especially bad with crochet, tons of whips. Oh my goodness, I think lots of us are, lots of us are with you there on lots and lots of work. Whips are work in progress if nobody's encountered that before. I, I have lots, I have lots. Um, I have designs in progress as well, lots and lots of designs or very nearly finished designs in progress. Um, and I, I'm, I meant to bring it, I meant to bring one to show you actually today to see because I'm really um, debating <laughs> with myself. I've designed this um, strappy summer crop top, um, which I just really, I've seen so many in the stores and everything around at the moment, because you know it's everywhere on the high street, isn't it, at the moment, crochet. And I just thought, Do you know what, I really fancy making one of those. Um, and I have, and I just, I don't know if, it, if people would be interested in the pattern, but it's kind of, they're not granny squares, they're just a square motif using two colours, and then there's some really simple straps to go on, and I feel like it would be a really simple, easy summer make, but one that you can also adjust and add squares onto the bottom to make it longer because I mean normally I I wouldn't not normally I just wouldn't um wear a, a crop top as short as this is and I've taken pictures of myself in it with my tummy out on show um which, there's nothing wrong with my tummy I know that but um but you know when it's something you're not used to and you wouldn't normally do it feels a bit strange um but, but yeah so I don't know so do let me know if you if you think I've added a picture in my stories actually um, oh, Denise has said I, sh I saw your photo shoot for it. Yes, it looked great. Thank you. Yeah, I think so. My my ten year old niece said saw it and said she wants one. So I think you know that's a fair that's a fair compliment, isn't it? <laughs> my mum messaged me and said Chloe said she would like one. <laughs> so that's awesome. That's awesome. So maybe I will. Maybe I'll work on that. But I need to get a rig on, don't I? Because otherwise the summer will be been and gone and done. So there we go. Right, have I covered everything? Let me know. Are there any other questions while I'm here? If you're looking, um, watching rather on the replay, then do let me know if there are any questions and I'll catch up over the next couple of days with anything that's here. What did I say? 
login, show you the login and process, talk about like swatch and size, talk about gauge, and ca oh, can I still upgrade? This, 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 this. Can I still upgrade? I get asked this all the time. The answer is absolutely. This course is not going anywhere. This is going to be one of the fundamental key things that I'm going to keep in my Hanjan um, back pocket all the time, and you'll be able to purchase it at any point. Um, so it currently is um, running at $27. Um, but that price will be going up at the end of the crochet along. So it's the cheapest that it will be um, right now. And you can, and that will be until the crochet along finishes. So if you would like to upgrade, then absolutely please do. There's an information section in the free version um, where it says, would you like to upgrade? And you can just click on there and you can, but obviously once you log in, you get those options that I showed you with the bits grayed out. Um, so you can just click on it there as well and you can upgrade in, the, in that place there. <laughs> Marie said, yes, the photo with your son under the blanket is so cute. Oh, he was so funny. If it, if you haven't seen the picture of my son Elliot, so he's six, um, literally underneath the blanket when we were taking the photos, we did it. Um, I mean, you probably wouldn't believe like the, the ad hoc way that some of the photos are done in the Hanjan headquarters. Um, on the way home from school on a Monday afternoon, I took it under the pushchair um, while I was pushing Oliver along and it was in a bundled in the bag and I got it out and I said, does everyone, I took, I took some bribery snacks, obviously, um, and I gave, I gave them some snacks and I said, I'm just going to take a few photos, just, just eat those while I do this. So, um, so I did, <laughs> I took some photos and then I realized that actually the top, and completely unintentionally, the top and the jeans that I was, were, were wearing was, um, was actually quite coordinated with the blanket. So I got Elliot to actually take loads of it. He took so many photos, bless him. And he actually did, there were some that were a bit dodgy, um, but he took some really lovely photos. So most, any of the photos that you see with me holding the blanket, Elliot, my six year old took. So he's awesome, bless him. Ah, oh, someone here saying my granddaughters love those crop tops. Yeah, they're everywhere, aren't they? They absolutely are everywhere. Here we go, someone asking, oh, Karen, is the coupon code for Wee Crochet good through July? I can't start until the middle of July, but I've got the course day one. Oh, yay. Um, it is valid until July the 16th. It, sa it says on the course, um, don't take that as gospel, but I'm fairly sure it's July the 16th that that coupon code finishes, I think. Um, by which point, if they have then sold out, the, the pack should all be back in stock by then, so the 7th of July, I think. So I said, um, ah, here we go, Celine. Yes, thank you, you're on the case, brilliant. Look at this, I saw something on the Facebook community about a question with going into the back loop or the third chain, I can't remember what, yes. So, I must have, I must have not been thinking that day, I'm so sorry. Um, there's, a, <laughs> there's an inconsistency with round, I should know, eight. It must be round eight, I think. Yes, it's not the final round, it's round eight. So in the pattern, it tells you to do it in, in the written pattern, it tells you to do it in the back loop only. But in the video, I do it in the third loop only, um, which is why all of my motifs, I don't know if you, how well you can see that there. Oh, it's so bright, it's too bright. Um, all of my motifs have this extra ridge here. So it's, um, in my motifs, I have done it in the third loop only, um, but I have described that as the back loop in the videos. I was obviously having a moment and I'm really sorry about that. But whether you go in the back loop or whether you go in the third loop, I've decided to keep it as it is because I think it would be too confusing for me to try and change it either place because then it would still make the other one inconsistent. So back loop or third loop, whichever you prefer. There are some people that are doing a mixture, which is awesome. Um, so, so just do whatever feels right for you. Um, and it, it, it will be, if you want to be consistent, you should go in the third loop, which is the, the loop furthest away from you when you're working in the round. Uh, but if you want to stay true to the written pattern, then just go in the back loop and it will look absolutely beautiful as well. 
here we are. So Melanie said, I did buy the ebook from Ravelry. So yeah, so that's the other option as well. Gosh, I keep forgetting all the options. Um, so it's also in on my in my Ravelry store. It's also in my Etsy shop. Um, and you can also buy it through Thrivecart, which is the, plat the membership platform. So if you want just the ebook without the extra bells and whistles of all the videos and all that kind of stuff, then you can get that too. Oh, Karen said, thank you. It's a lovely course. Thank you. Oh, I had such fun putting these courses together. I can't tell you. <laughs> oh, Tiffany has said, I did back loop in row seven and third loop on row eight. Absolutely fine. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Do whatever you want to do um, and and be, be happy with it and be proud of it. Um, yeah, don't worry about it. Round eight, yeah, someone said it is round eight. It is round eight, because then round nine, the final round is where I talk about going, and I did get this right in the videos, is where I talk about going into the back bar um, of a US double crochet. Um, and I do talk about that in the videos and show in the videos. So if you've not encountered that yet um, or before, then do watch that section in the video, because I'll show you. I mean, it's fairly easy to find once you know the anatomy of the stitch, but if you haven't um, used it before, then it might be a bit of a strange concept for you um, so do go and find that so there we go I've been talking for an hour my goodness me everyone thank you so much for joining me um, do carry on with any questions that you have and as I say if you're watching on the replay um, let me know if there's anything that crops up that doesn't make any sense to you but I really hope that's helped um, by going through exactly how to find everything but hopefully people um, haven't had too many problems but just let me know if you've got any issues with finding anything and I can absolutely help you oh Tiffany said oops it should have been eight eight and nine yeah so around eight and nine are the ones that are um, basically wherever you want them to be but if you want it to match mine it needs to be then the third loop and then the back bar um, but if if you want to do it as written in the pattern just go in the back loop and then the back bar um oh thanks thank you karen yay honestly everyone is so wonderfully supportive so thank you so much for joining and i hope that you get out of this as much if not more hopefully than i get out of it it's just an amazing thing to have such a wonderfully strong community that are helping each other and i know it's only crochet i know that i know that but it's crochet and it's so important to all of us it's so important to have that time protect your time that you can snatch here there or everywhere or if you can indulge in it and spend day upon day doing it just have some time for yourself and just get yourself in a nice mindful place and enjoy making hexagons so everyone's saying thank thank you for everything i'm making the first hexagon tonight yay and when you've made it post it in the group show us show us show us <laughs> and Jenny said thank you brilliant as usual oh thank you I'm sorry a bit croaky tonight um, but anyway I am going to pop off now oh everyone's saying thank you oh thank you everyone um, I will hop off and I will pop back at some point in, during the week I'm going to go live with my wonderful friend Veronica on Thursday, I believe it is, so I'll email and let you know when that's going to be. We do our, our monthly live um, Q&As about anything related to crochet that you'd like to chat to us about. So um, grab your, your yarn and your project and come and, come and join us. So um, yeah, I'll see you all again soon. Take care, everyone.